So let's see what we got in the box. It's a pretty big box. I haven't took this out yet for the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. What is cool about it, it's a official licensed product by Ford. So I'm expecting to see some very good details on this car. Let me remove this out of this packaging and we'll see what it takes to assemble this vehicle. It's a small car at first look, but I think it's gonna work pretty well for my uh, two years old son. So let me start getting this cardboard out. Some nice packaging. Doesn't seem that anything has been damaged during transportation. Got this here. All right, so here I have all the parts out of the box. Starting here, you have the charger, the remote control. I think this is a tool to assemble the tires. The tires are uh, a slightly different. The driving wheels has this kind of locking mechanism here that's gonna be mounted right there in that white piece. And this is only for the rear. It's a nice touch here with the Ford logo right there. It's going to be clipped on in place right here and you have to attach these wheel nuts and that's probably why you have this tool right here then you have this part which is um, the spoiler that's going to be clipped in place you have a nice smoked windshield the steering wheel is pretty cool with the cobra in there shelby logo it's going to be clipped in place there is a button here hopefully it is working uh also this is the seat look at that that's a beautiful seat it's hard plastic doesn't have any cushioning or anything but has a nice touch here for the shelby logo and moving into the vehicle right here look how beautiful this is this is really a licensed shelby gt500 it really looks like the real car uh in, in miniature right beautiful beautiful design going across this other side here the tail lamps also looks just like the real uh shelby uh for the gt500 very nice touch hopefully this will light up we'll check once it's fully assembled assembled the, the dashboard with a nice sticker right here is gonna be where you you mount your steering wheel, drive, park, in reverse. There is a button here to turn it on and off. Fast and slow, lights, and that's where you press to move forward. The doors have a locking mechanism here, so you can open and close the doors. Very nice. That's the, compar the compartment here where it has the, the fuse box, the battery, a 12 volt battery. This is a couple of connectors you need to, to connect before assembling the vehicle. And let me flip this over. Because who doesn't like to see things from underneath, right? There, there is, it's a big plastic uh, tub, let's call. And then there is all of this metal uh, reinforcement right here where you do the steering. Wire harness, pretty well packed under this tunnel. This is the switches you have in here. And then in the back, you have this, well, surprisingly tiny little motors that drives the wheels. It's a brushed motor, probably goes right here. And there's probably lots of gears in here to get that tiny motor to a very much slower uh, velocity here for a lot of torque. There are some exhaust pipes kind of a fake light in here. So overall, very good materials and, and it's probably gonna be very easy to put all of this together. I'm gonna walk you through the process right now. 
The manual here is pretty easy to follow. It's a color, uh, color page uh, manual. Has all these packs here, all the part list and everything that gets with it, how you assemble, then the connectors you need to, to assemble. So I'm gonna be following this as I go. It says it should take about 25 minutes. Let's, let's find out how long it takes to put this together. Starting with this, right? Like this. Make sure the disc is outside. Don't forget to wrap the washer here. side.
connect the wires. There you have it. It took me actually eight minutes to put all, all of this together. Wasn't hard at all. We're gonna take this outside and do a nice reveal in the sun. Looks pretty cool. And yeah, very easy to assemble. The only parts left here were it is the remote, which feels like it needs batteries the charger and it says charging before first use must after ever use must and also once a month uh, it's a must there you have it thank you very much <laughs>